What's going on YouTube? This is Tony here from Always Causing a Racket and I'm back with another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm traveling down to Newport News to play at sectionals for a super high tri-level team. It's 4.0 to 5.0 and I'm captaining. I might be playing in the 4.5 line and yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty fun. Um, I, as you guys can tell from my channel, I haven't like, I don't think I've posted a single doubles match at all just because, um, you know, I just haven't had time to and uh, my volley skills aren't that great, but um, I might have to sub in for one of my partners. Uh, so I might be playing one match. Uh, we only have two matches. We're playing it against uh, Montgomery County and Richmond. And, and as you guys remembered, uh, Richmond beat us to go to nationals at uh, another 18 and over uh, men's um, sectionals uh, a couple months ago. So you know, we're itching for a rematch and it'll be good. So for 4.0 to 5.0, it's uh, three lines. It's um, one 4.0, one 4.5, one 5.0, uh, and it's all doubles. So got to win two out of three. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good weekend. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned to the end of the video to hear my insights about how the whole tournament went.
was sent to him in a racket. And I was like, hey, can I test it out? Huh? <laughs> Come on boys, let's go, let's go. Nice ball, Quinn. Way to play. Yeah, unfortunately, um, couldn't record um, my match. Uh, I ended up playing in the second match, um, and uh, I was playing against one of the guys that I've played against before, against Richmond. Um, so I guess to give a little recap, the first round we played against Moco, Montgomery County. We lost two matches. 8-10 uh, in the third set tiebreaker. So both of them lost. Uh, one of them, we were up 6-2 in the third set tiebreaker and then just couldn't close it out. Um, I think we lost overall 0-3. Uh, our 5.0 lines, unfortunately, I was only able to get one 5.0 and I had to like sign a waiver to request some of my 4.5 players to play up. But you know the 5.0 is just like a different level. So uh, we got swept in that one. Um, I think like one and two. So we lost three lines against Moko. Um, and one of the 4.5 players, uh, I think he had like five matches uh, in the past week. So he was like super tired, wasn't able to play. So I decided to play in for him. Uh, so in the Richmond match, uh, my 5.0 lines uh, lost, I think like nine eleven in the third set tiebreaker. Uh, my 4.5 line, so me and Santos, we ended up losing, I think three and two. Um, uh, yeah, I think those two guys are just like way too tough for us. Um, and then in the 4.0 line, my 4.0 line, they came down from 0-7 in the third set tiebreaker to win 11-9. This is wild. I, I was just so impressed and I was watching them until they finished. Um, 
but yeah, they they were the only wins this uh, this past weekend, so it was tough. I think Richmond ended up winning, uh, and they're also going to nationals uh, for another another USDA league. So congrats to them. Uh, it's always like fun to play against them. They they always bring uh, some of the the top people in the area. So things to work on. Um, I think you know doubles for me like it's just so tough. It's just such a different mindset. Um, and like, I guess with like me being a lot shorter than some of the players, uh, you know, I don't have that reach uh, as much as well as others. So like just poaching is just tough for me. Um, and, you know, I feel more comfortable in the baseline instead of hitting like a serve and volley or uh, an approach shot to come into the net. So I'm way too comfortable up at the baseline, but like, so is everyone at this level. So I got to figure out, you know, how to step up my game. So you know, I've been hitting with a couple of 5.0s since then, um, you know, working and having a couple of tennis lessons with Andrew as well, just to work on some uh, volleys, um, approach shots and whatnot, just, just to up my game. You know, it, I guess technically like my season for tennis is sort of over. I have a couple like Arlington County, um, you know, doubles and some other tri-level uh, combos and mix so, you know, this is the time to get some of that practice in um, and see, you know, how I can improve my level. I think USDA ratings come out probably in November or December, but I'm going to be stuck in this 4.5 line um, as much as possible. Uh, I think the goal, you know, I, I think at first, like I really wanted to get to that 5.0 level, but like seeing all the 5.0s in the area, it's just a different level, different experience. And I don't think I'll get anywhere to their level anytime soon so the goal for next year is to win sectionals qualify for nationals and see what we can do from there so that is the goal um and yeah i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch i'm sorry i can't record uh any of these usda matches uh you know for doubles i, I think you know when it's such a high important level match um some players feel uncomfortable recording or being recorded um, that puts a little bit more pressure. So, you know, totally okay. I always ask, uh, you know, before I record. So yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Um, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Go down to the links in my bio to get some discounts on some strings, tennis gear that I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.